Hello, Joseph. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Teacher, I can hear you. Oh, wait for a moment. Yeah. Okay, how about now? Can you hear me now? Can you yes. hear me? Okay. So once again, good morning. So how are you today? Okay. So today is the continue. Okay. So today is the continuation of our class. So let's start. Okay. So first, we will just going to continue the one that we had on our last meeting. And I want to review something again. So let me share my screen now to you. Okay. So can you see your book now? Yeah. Okay. So here is the one that we had last meeting, which is page 35. So on this one, we will going to try this one again, okay? We will going to match the sentences from each box to make rules about sport. So once again, on this activity, you have different sport. You have basketball, um, badminton, and also baseball, okay? It was, you have those sports. So... Let's try to answer this one again. Because after this, you will go into um, have activity at this one. Okay, so as you can see, um, shuttlecock doesn't go over the net. Your opponent gets the point. So how about the sentence? The other team catches the baseball. Uh... So the other team catches the baseball. What would happen to the batter? The, uh, the runner is safe. Mm -hmm. But the other team catches the ball that you throw. So it means that the batter is out. Okay. You can answer on your book, okay? So let's okay. We have about the next sentence. Okay. The basketball goes through the hoop. Mm -hmm. You So the basketball go through the hoop or the ring. Your team gets two points. Okay, very good. Oh, no, no. Your, oh. Um, Your answer is correct. Your team will going to get two points. Because in basketball, if you shoot the ball into the hoop or into the ring, you will going to get two points. Okay. Okay, let's have the next one. One team wins three times. They win the one Very good. Two teams are tied at 24 points. The other team gets the point. Uh, one team needs to get two more points to win the set. Okay, they need to have... They need to beat the tied points. Very good. Next one. Uh, a player takes a step without dribbling. Mm -hmm. The other team gets the ball. Oh, but here, okay, good job. The other um gets the ball because one rule in playing basketball if you will go if you have the ball you need to dribble the ball but if you didn't dribble the ball you will going to have 
you are going to have the call, which is the traveling. Okay, traveling. Next one. A, ro a runner reaches the base before he is tapped. The runner is safe. Okay, the runner is safe. Very good. All then here. So now we will going to continue the one here on the next activity. So those are the sentences that you did here. We will going to combine it. Okay, like the first example. The shuttlecock doesn't go over the net. Your opponent gets the point. So on this one, you will going to use if in each of every sentences. Okay, you can start now. The shuttlecock doesn't go over the net. Your opponent gets a point. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. Finished, okay. So can you read your answer? Yes. If one team wins three, go three sets, one team needs to get two more points to win. Okay. So how about the rest? Yes. So you need to complete or you need to use those sentences. Are we all done with that one? Yeah. Okay. So now, do you have any more questions before we move on? No. Okay. So let's try to move on with the next activity. So here is all about the brainstorming. So you already have an example here. So you can choose anything or any sports that you want to create. Okay. So like in this one, the example is badminton. You have the equipment and the player, and also the rule on how to play basketball. So you can start your brainstorming now. So once again, you can choose, um, you can choose the sports that you want.
Ayu Penny. Um, how to play dark folk? Equipment and player. Uh, ball, cloth, uh, the special cloth, and four people to 20 people. By 20 people. How to play? Rule. People is out if they got shot from both. They they are not allowed to go over team line. Okay, all on. Yes. Thank you. Very good. So now you are all done having the brainstorming. So it's time for you to outline the one that you did. Finish. Okay, so again, what is the topic of your um activity here? Uh, oh, wait, wait. Okay. I'm finished. Okay, what is the topic again? The topic is how to play dark folk. Okay, so how about the body of your sentence? Our body, equipment, and players is ball, and four or four or ten people. Okay, Game so role. okay, yes. in that one or in the basic information, you can try to complete your sentence. Like for example, the equipment needed on playing this game. R is the ball. Also, you need to have, um, for example, 12 players or something. Okay? You need, or on this one, or on the body of your sentence, it should be um, in a sentence. Okay? Not just the information. Okay? Okay. So let's try to have the game rules. Player is the rules of players is out if they got shot by ball. They are not allowed to go over team line. Okay, very good. And how it about is, okay. it is fun and easy? Okay. It is fun and easy. So how about the closing? Yes. The closing. The closing is it is fun and easy. Oh, it is fun, easy. Okay, so on the in the closing also, you can try to include on how to on how to win the game. Okay, so on okay. playing on playing that kind of game, how many points do you need to win? Uh, 
Um, we need to survive more than other kids. Oh, okay. So all you all you need to do is to survive, or all you need to do is to not hit by the ball. Mm, okay, good. So now we are all done here. So do you have any more questions before we move on to the ne next topic? No. No. Okay, so let's try to move on now with the next one. So here is the unit five in page 38 of your book. So this one is all about my country. So once again, um, Joseph, what is your country? My country is, is South Korea. Okay, South Korea, very good. So here, as you can see, um, we will go into talk about this. So... What are the thoughts or opinion? Or uh, what is your thought or opinions on your country? What is your thought or opinion in Korea or South Korea? Um, South Korea. Um, South Korea. It famous for for BTS, Blackpink, and Kimchi. Okay, very good. Yes, South Korea is so famous about those. They are famous or your country is famous about K-pop. Okay, that's great. Thank you. So let's try to move on here in this one. So what do you know about the following countries? And then we will go into write three facts about each country using the phrases from the box. Okay, so you have here. So as you can see, you already have an example. So England is located in Europe. Okay, Europe is the continent. And England is located to Europe. Next one, England is famous for Big Ben and double-decker buses. Big Ben is the large or the huge bell in the city of England. And the next one, David Beckham is from England. So let's try to talk about, or let's try to talk about three facts about South Korea, your country. Okay. Uh, in South Korea was in was in a big war. Mm -hmm. Oh wait for a moment. You need to use the phrases here to give okay. information or facts about your country. <laughs> So let's start with B located in. Um, South Korea is located in in South Korea. Uh, what and con what continent? In Korea. Okay, South Korea is located in what continent? So um, Europe is a continent, and in Europe there is England. Uh, in North Korea. Oh no. So here we have continents around the world. We have seven continents that include North America, at Antarctica, South America, Europe, and Africa. Also, the Asia. North America, Asia, Oceania, Antarctica, South America, um, Europe, and Africa. So those are the continents. So where is South Korea located? South Korea located in... Uh, I don't know. In Asia. Okay. Asia. Yes, in Asia. Because in Asia, you can see different countries. There is China, Philippines, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, and more. Okay? Okay. Okay. So let's have number two. Korea is 
famous for for BTS, Blackpink, uh, Kimchi, and uh, Blue Cookie, and and uh, Tao Chung, and 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 lots of study and fast. Fast, fast the buses. Oh, and, that, that, that's a lot. <laughs> and good service. Oh, yeah, good service. Okay, very good. So how about number three? David Beckham is good. Okay. Uh, ah. Son Heung Min is from Korea. Okay, very good. So you use someone that is from okay. Korea. Good job. So those are all the facts in your country and also in England. So let's try to move on now on the next one, which is this. How about, do, they, do you know something about US? Yes. Okay, let's try. Uh, in um ah i don't know about us okay you don't know about us so um so us in us you can also see some statue so do you know this one the statue Statue of Liberty. Okay. So, um, for example, in England or in the USA, there is the Statue of Liberty, right? Also, where is USA located? Um, USA is located from the um, United States. Okay. Yes, it is in the United States, but what continent? Um, Europe? Uh, no, it's in North America. So I will go into have you the continents here, okay? For a moment. So United States is in North America. North America? Yes. So, how about who is from USA? Do you know some? No. Do you know some people that is from the USA? I will see picture. Okay. Um, seven continents, Antarctica, Australia, Asia, Europe. North America, South America, Africa. Okay, good. And in North America, there is the United States of America. While in Asia, the orange one, you can see the Philippines, Japan, and also South and North Korea here. Okay. So let's try to move on now with the next one. So who are the people? that you can see or that is from um, USA? Um, like. For example, Barack Obama is from the USA because Barack Obama is the former president of United States of America. Yeah. Okay, so let's oh. try, oh. You know Trump? Some? Yes. Trump, uh, um, Trump, um, uh, Ro, Ro, the former president of America also. You Trump, have to... uh, Ronald. It's Trump. Trump, mm -mm, resident is from uh usa okay very good it's um i think it's ronald trump 
Yes, okay. So let's try to move on here in the next country, which is France. Okay, so where is France located? France located in South America. Mm -hmm. It is in also in Europe, like England. Okay, because France and England are in Europe. Okay. okay, so next meeting, we will going to continue um, or we will just going to have a quick understanding about the different continents. Okay, but let's try to focus here more. So France, again, is located in Europe, like England. So what are something that you can see in France? Is um, that this one? I can see... Um... What do you call the tower? Eiffel Tower. Okay, the Eiffel Tower. How about, do you know some famous food in France? Ah, I know. What are those? Cheese. Oh, cheese. Yes, France is also famous about their cheese. What else? Um, I don't know. Okay. They are also famous about their croissant. The pastry. This one. Croissant. It is a type of pastry that is so famous in France. Did you saw the picture? I will. Um. Okay. Ah, uh, croissant. Yeah, croissant. Okay. So, have you ever tried to eat croissant? Yes. Oh, how's the taste? Um, good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Now, we are all done here. So, once again, where is England located? England is located in Europe. How about South Korea? South Korea is located in in North America, South Korea. Ah, no. wait. Uh, okay, you can see the map. Um, South Korea is located in Asia. Very good. How about the USA? USA is located in in Europe. USA, United States of America. North America. I think North America. And how about the France? France is located in Europe. Okay. How about some other country? Let's try Japan. Japan. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, it is also maybe, look. It is all, oh, Japan is the new country Um, in in Korea. So it means it is also from Asia. Okay. Uh, Asia. okay. Yes. Like also the Philippines. Philippines is also located in Asia. Okay. So how about you, Josh, Joseph? Have you ever tried to visit other country? Um, I, I want to. Okay. Which one? Um, the USA. Oh, you want to go to the USA? Why USA? Because because there is a uh, a New York City. Oh, New York City. Yes, that's great. Also, in the USA or in North America, you can also visit New York City, which is also one of top one of which is also one of the famous country nowadays. So now we are all then discussing the different country here. So do you have any more questions before we end the class? No. Okay. So on our next meeting, Joseph, we will go into talk more about the city of or the country of England, which is in the northwest of Europe. 
Okay, so if you don't have any question, Joseph, we will go into end this class. So thank you for your time and have a good day. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you.